Pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH, is a rapidly progressing disease of the pulmonary vasculature. PAH is defined hemodynamically as a mean pulmonary arterial pressure of greater than or equal to 25 millimeters of mercury and pulmonary capillary wet pressure of 15 millimeters of mercury or less. PAH is characterized by destructive vascular changes that include inflammation, vasoconstriction, cell proliferation, hypertrophy, and in severely symptomatic patients, formation of plexiform lesions. Progression of these structural changes ultimately leads to right ventricular strain and dysfunction. Within the pulmonary vasculature, three pathways that are known to be involved in pulmonary arterial hypertension include endothelin, nitric oxide, and prostacyclin. These pathways play instrumental roles in the regulation of vascular tone. Endothelin, a signaling peptide, is an important component in the progression of pulmonary arterial hypertension. In normal physiology, circulating endothelin helps maintain normal vascular tone. In PAH, levels of endothelin are elevated in the bloodstream and the capacity to clear endothelin from the circulation is reduced. Endothelin exerts its effects by activating two distinct receptors, endothelin A and endothelin B. These receptors mediate the pathophysiologic role of endothelin in PAH. In normal physiology, endothelial cells express only the ETB receptor, and smooth muscle cells express both receptors. ETA receptors on smooth muscle cells primarily mediate vasoconstriction and cellular proliferation. In PAH, excessive stimulation of ETA receptors is thought to cause vasoconstriction, cell proliferation, and hypertrophy. ETB receptors located on the endothelial cells mediate endothelin-dependent vasodilation. On smooth muscle cells, these receptors mediate vasoconstriction. It is hypothesized that under pathologic conditions, smooth muscle cell vasoconstriction predominates due to downregulation of ETB on endothelial cells and upregulation on smooth muscle cells, and vasodilating response decreases and the vasoconstrictive response prevails. In animal studies, blockade of the endothelin receptors has been shown to limit vascular hypertrophy and cardiac remodeling and to reduce vascular inflammation. Nitric oxide is a diatomic gas that plays an important role in cell signaling, which stimulates enzyme activity in the vasculature. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator that also inhibits platelet aggregation, thrombosis, and inflammation. Under normal conditions, Nitric oxide is produced continuously in the vascular endothelium. Nitric oxide diffuses into vascular smooth muscle cells, where it binds to and activates guanylate cyclase, stimulating the synthesis of CGMP, a second messenger for signaling smooth muscle relaxation and inhibiting cellular proliferation. Rising levels of cyclic GMP mediate the effects of nitric oxide. In pulmonary arterial hypertension, levels of nitric oxide synthase are decreased, promoting vasoconstriction and cellular proliferation in vascular smooth muscle cells. The availability of nitric oxide is also affected by the phosphodiesterase type 5 or PDE5 enzyme which degrades cyclic GMP in vascular smooth muscle cells and counteracts the vasodilatory effects set in motion by nitric oxide. Inhibition of PDE5 can block this breakdown of cyclic GMP. Prostacyclin is the main arachidonic acid metabolite of vascular endothelial and smooth muscle cells. This potent vasodilator plays a key role in maintaining vascular tone. Prostacyclin is produced in endothelial cells 
through the action of prostacyclin synthase. Prostacyclin binds to prostaglandin receptors located on endothelial and smooth muscle cells, leading to a cascade that signals adenylate cyclase to produce cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP is a second messenger that inhibits unnecessary platelet aggregation and also leads to relaxation of the underlying vascular smooth muscle cells. In pulmonary arterial hypertension, prostacyclin levels are reduced. Reduced levels of prostacyclin lead to deficient vasodilatory and antiproliferative effects. The addition of prostacyclin has been shown to play a pivotal role in the management of PAH. Pulmonary arterial hypertension may be heritable or idiopathic, but people with a wide range of conditions, including those with connective tissue diseases or congenital heart disease, are at greater risk of developing PAH. As PAH progresses, pulmonary vascular resistance increases and cardiac output decreases, which may develop into a severe limitation of patients' ability to perform their daily activities. Patients with PAH should be carefully monitored at regular intervals. The mean time from symptom onset to diagnosis is 2.8 years, and left untreated, patients with this frequently misdiagnosed, rapidly progressing disease have an estimated median survival of only 2.8 years. Prompt intervention in PAH is critical.